Hi, during last sessions we discussed how we can migrate tally 7.2 data to tally ERP9 and also we discussed how we can load tally 8.1, tally 9, tally ERP9 data to work in release 6.0 and also we discussed how we can update TIN number for all the parties in one screen. Today we will see how we can fix the rates for different stock items in a company. To see this, I am going to gateway of tally. Under gateway of tally, we have to go to inventory info under masters. Under inventory info, just select tax rate setup under tax rate setup go to GST just click on GST menu you will get the screen like this where it will show the stock group here it is primary because it is showing all the primary stock groups it is showing applicable from and it is showing HSN code taxability integrated tax central tax state tax rest. so if you want to see this in detail, you can press Detailed, Alt F1. So you will get in detail. So this is the first time I am loading the previous release data after enabling GST module. So if I see here, it is the integrated tax, it is fixed 18% for all the stock items. So we have to understand from where this particular rate is derived or picked. So we will see from where this particular rate is fixed. This particular rate is fixed from company masters. It is from F11 features, statutory and taxation. So the second parameter, set or alter GST details need to be enabled and here the option set or alter GST rate details this is the company master here we fixed 18 percent this is the rate it is showing in item setup screen in bracket if something within the bracket I'll show you once again from gateway of tally inventory info tax rate setup GST so the tax uh, whatever showing within bracket it is either derived from company master or the stock group see uh, we will see whether we have enabled rate for stock group just um, we will see I am just pressing control enter to go to group alteration screen here just I'll enable set or alter GST details. I'm just enabling here. The rate is not derived. That is why it is picking 18% from company masters. So we'll see fixing a different rate to a group. I'm just pressing control enter. I'm going to set or alter GST details. I'm giving some description. I'm giving some dummy HSN code. I'm selecting taxability as taxable. And here I'm changing, I'm fixing the rate to the group, stock group. I'm making 24% and just coming out by saving this. So what happened here? I just fixed 24% tax to the group, the group for LG. And the items created, the stock items created under this particular group is 
derived the tax rate from the parent group. So here this group has overridden the 18 percent. Here the group is not fixing 18 per, uh, percent because we change it. Here 18 percent pick from, pick from company master. This 24 percent is picked from stock group. So now we will discuss how to change or set the rate to stock item. Here, for example, assume that mobile is 24% which is derived the tax rate from parent LG okay, and uh, LG TV also is derived from parent 24%. So, this mobile cover, I will make it 5%. So, how to make this particular item 5% which is created under the group? Okay, just press spacebar by selecting that particular stock item. Okay, once pressing spacebar, you can just press Alt S to set rate. You give some description, give the HSN code of that item. Select taxability and here I am just fixing 5%. We will see what happens. I accept it. See now what happened here for group 24% we fixed. Since we have not configured or set rate for these two stock items, it is still remains 24%. But we changed to 5% for this particular stock item, LG mobile cover, we have changed to 5%, so it is showing 5%, even the HSN code is diff different, okay. We will do the same for one more stock item falling in another group. Again, I am going to Samsung mobile cover, I am just pressing Alt S, set rate. giving some adjacent code and I am coming here selecting taxable and here also I am fixing 5% just coming up so here also this 18% is picking from or derived from company masters this 5% is what we changed so, if we don't want the rate, if I want to change it or to clear how to remove this and what happens if I remove this. Now I have 5% rate for Samsung mobile cover. I want to clear it. So, to clear that, you have to come to the particular stock item and press clear red button or you can also use control C just play pressing control C first you have to press space bar then control C then you will get a confirmation clear GST rate I am just entering by confirming. Now what happened? Again it picked its parent rate. That 5% has erased and it has picked its parent the com uh, from it is, pick, it is deriving the rate from company masters. In this particular stock uh, group all the items are 18% so easily if I fix to group all items falling under that group the rate will get derived from the group. If you want to change rate for one particular item then you can 
set it by pressing Alt S. If you want to clear, select that particular stock item and then press Ctrl C to clear the rate. Now we will see how we can fix a rate to stock group and we will clear all the rates what we fixed to the previous to that stock groups and a new rate will applicable to all the stock items. Taking example of this LG itself, in this LG the parent rate was uh, the, the company master's rate was 18%, the group we fixed for 24% and we also overridden one particular item with 5%. Getting? So, now I want to change this particular stock group rate to 28% uh, and it, uh, it has to apply the same rate for all the items, items even, the item what I fixed, I set separately. Now we will see how we can do. To, the, to do this, we have to select that particular stock group and there is a button called Enforce Rate. Okay? You can just click on that rate or you can press Alt here. So it is, uh, you will get a confirmation what you have to be make the changes. So here what I am doing, I am just changing the rate from 24% to 28% and I am just coming out of this particular screen and it is asking when it is applicable, just give the rate from when it is applicable and just accept it and you will get a warning. Setting GST rate for this stock group so and so this will erase the current tax configuration from all the subgroups and items under it as what we discussing now just I am confirming once I con just confirm what happened all the stock items falling under that particular group or subgroups it has changed to one rate what we enforced clear now we will see how we can move stock group, a stock item from one group to another group. Now I have a uh, stock item LG mobile cover and Samsung mobile cover. Okay, I want these particular covers to be in another group. I don't want in this particular groups. So to create a group here you go to any one group, place cursor on the group and press Alt C, you will get stock group creation screen. I am just creating one separate group. I am just I'm accepting. If, I, if you want to ra uh, set the rates to this group, you can set it. Just uh, we are discussing how to move stock item from one group to another item. I am not going to set GST details here. Now I have a new group created and it is picking 18% from parent, from company masters. Now what I can do, if, if I want to change the tax rate, I can change it. You can change it later. Now I am just showing you how you can shift stock item from one group to another group. Go to the stock item which you want to shift. Okay, press space bar. Select which all the stock groups you want to move. After that, you press on move to group. Okay, it will list out the available groups. You select the group to which you want to shift the stock item. I am shifting the selected stock items to another group, mobile cover group. Just I am selecting. Once I enter, what happened? It has shifted. The stock items got shifted to the group whichever I selected.
and we will see the final the configurations what are the options available in configurations f12 configurations here if you want to show items based on availability of tax details what are the items available tax details if you want to see and uh, items which configure tax details and item which not configured stock details you can just filter and see here if you don't want you can see all the stock items so the next is show type of supply whether the supply is goods or service you can see you can get a separate column by enabling this you can view there if you want to see the says you can make it show says and show valuation type valuation on item or value you can check it by enabling this so now after enabling all the parameters i'm getting all the items and i'm getting type of supply this type of supply will fetch from stock item not from group or company master we'll see one example so i'm coming to samsung tv i'm just pressing control enter on the stock item i'm going under statutory info i'm just going to type of supply i'm selecting type of supply as goods and i'm just pressing control it and accepting and coming out here you can see type of supply as goods this is derived from company sorry not company stock item okay and hsn code is derived and uh, says whatever we sell uh, if says is available it will show here and type of valuation is based on value or item clear thank you thank you for watching my video for more videos please subscribe my channel you can also share my videos you can also like my videos thank you